This slide shows a synchronous buck converter. It is similar to the previous synchronous buck converter, except the diode is paralleled with another transistor. It is called a synchronous buck converter because transistor Q2 is switched on and off synchronously with the operation of the primary switch Q1. The idea of a synchronous buck converter is to use a MOSFET as a rectifier that has a very low forward voltage drop as compared to a standard rectifier. By lowering the diode's voltage drop, the overall efficiency of the buck converter can be improved. The synchronous rectifier, MOSFET Q2, requires a second PWM signal that is a complement of the primary PWM signal. Q2 is on when Q1 is off and vice versa. This PWM format is called complementary PWM. The MOSFET Q2 is clamped by a Schottky rectifier. The Schottky rectifier prevents the MOSFET's intrinsic body diode from conducting, which prevents the body diode from developing a stored charge. The body diode in a MOSFET is a slow rectifier and would add significant losses if it were allowed to switch. Because the MOSFET rectifier, synchronous rectifier here, switches with less than a volt across itself, the switching losses are almost zero. The MOSFET conduction losses are very low compared to the Schottky rectifier's forward voltage drop. The cost of the MOSFET chosen for the synchronous rectifier is low. Synchronous rectification increased a power converter's efficiency significantly for a minimal cost.